Tonight, we're taking a closer look at food allergies in America. Well, according to FAIR, food allergy research and education, experts estimate that 33 million Americans have some type of food allergy, including 5.6 million kids. That's one in 13 children, or roughly two in every classroom. All new tonight, 5 News reporter Rachel Williams and photojournalist Nicole Hellman sat down with a Fort Smith mother who had to start reading labels on food, change the way she prepares meals to keep her her baby from an allergic reaction. Meet two-year-old Harrison Northington. Like any other toddler, Harrison loves to play and be active. But just like 33 million other Americans, Harrison's parents have had to keep a close eye on what they feed him. He had the allergic reaction to peanuts first, um, and it was a full body hives. Harrison was only eight months old when he had that allergic reaction to peanuts. So Harrison's parents took him to the doctor, which led to skin testing to find out what else he could be allergic to. We found out that he was allergic to dairy, which was weird because he had had yogurt and was fine. Like he had yogurt probably daily and never had a reaction. Um, we found out he was allergic to eggs which we had given him eggs probably six or seven times. But on the eighth time, we were at a restaurant and he had like just scrambled eggs at breakfast and he broke out in a rash like around his mouth. So that was kind of just wild because it was just random. Harrison's mom, Peyton Northington, says around his second birthday, he outgrew dairy and peanut allergies, but he's still intolerant when it comes to ingredients in eggs. Eggs is pretty hard. He can have baked eggs, so he can have anything that's baked like a muffin, um, cake, cookies, um, waffles, pancakes, if we cook them for a long amount of time. Um, he cannot have any dressing like ranch, mayonnaise. Um, a lot of sauces have mayonnaise in them, so an egg base, he can't have any of that. Dr. Lance Faddis with Mercy Hospital says the most common food allergens are cow's milk, nuts, tree nuts, peanuts, and then eggs. But for children who have an allergy within the first two years of life, half of them will outgrow it later on. If you're talking about milk and eggs, uh, there's, there's quite a few of those kids that will develop a tolerance to that later on in life, uh, by the time they're an adolescent, certainly. Uh, if you're thinking about nuts, tree nuts, uh, peanuts, about 20 to 30 percent of people who have that allergy will develop a tolerance at some point in their life. But as new parents, the journey certainly wasn't easy for them. It was really scary because we didn't know how to handle it. You know, like you have to start reading the labels on all sorts of things, um, going out to eat, like we just kind of stopped going out to eat at all, um, just because we didn't know if he could smell the peanuts, um, if it was like on a, on a surface, like if he would react, we just didn't know. Um, so we pretty much put our life on hold when feeding him and we only did um, baked, like cooking our own food. Northington created an Instagram page called Food Harrison Eats, showing how she meal preps different foods while avoiding certain allergens. We do it on a Sunday because we're both home. Um, so then throughout the week at night, I just make his lunches for the previous day or the next day and just everything ready. Um, but having it ready in the fridge is easy. It was a lot at the beginning, but now it's it's not bad because we're used to it. And for parents or anyone dealing with multiple food allergies, Northington says finding a community that supports you is essential. The first thing I did is go on Instagram and find people that are really outspoken about food allergies and that made me not feel as alone, I guess. Um, but then just keep pushing through. I mean, having that community really, really helped me just to know that, okay, some people do have it worse than we do. We are really lucky that he did outgrow them. In Fort Smith, Covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.